Okay, wow, hello everyone. Um, so, basically, before I begin, I wanted to say um, the first of which is that everything that I'm speaking about today is all observation. I have no qualifications in the subject I'm speaking about. And so, yeah, it's all based on opinion and observations. And the second thing that I was going to tell you, uh, I've forgotten. So, Ed, let's go. <laughs> so, basically, my talk, who are they and how did they let us down? So, who are they? Well, they are the secondary education system of the United Kingdom. And um, how they let us down is basically a discussion on how I feel that they let down the youths of today. So, as was said, I grew up in the small village of Monmouth. Um, where I went to school at Monmouth Comprehensive School, and um, you know, quite a nice school. You know, didn't do too badly, and that slide's taken a lot longer to change. <laughs> okay then. So basically, they had this kind of motto in which you know you measure everybody by the same standard. So as famous quote from Albert Einstein, um, everybody is a genius, but if you were to judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it's stupid. So, you know. With standards, first of all, this is a cart from, two, from about 150 years ago, and on the bottom is a modern day car. As you can see, a lot has changed. Things have moved on. We've, we've gone away from horses pulling us up from, and we've moved over to engines and vehicles. The next one, a TV, 80, between 80 and 150 years ago. I doubt they had tellies 150 years ago, so. But, <laughs> and then in modern telly, as you can see, massive change, massive change. Everything is different. And then finally, the classroom. What's changed? What's different? Why are we still doing things the same 150 years later? Surely that shows that we're not moving forward in the right direction. OK, then. So as I said, the education system hasn't changed. We mark everybody by the same standards and give them grades, A's, B's, C's. You know, We treat people like meat. Um, we grade them. So what can we actually do? Why do we not measure skills like salesmanship, like teamwork, like the ability to stand in front of an audience of 450 people and speak? Why do we not measure these things? That's my question. So let me tell you a quick story. <laughs> it starts off with QuickSave. I don't know if many of you remember QuickSave. It was a long time ago. Um, I don't know if I should. I'm very young. But <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Quick save, basically, this is where the story starts. One of my friends got caught in school selling out of a locker when he was about 15 years old, sweets and candies. He had one locker on the one side, another on the other side, and basically had about 150 pounds, I think, in the locker from his own little tuck shop inside of the school. But he was caught with the money and with the sweets. He was disciplined. He was suspended for a week. And when he... Oh, yeah, he lost all the money, by the way. Um... When he left school at the age of 16, he started in a roofing, roofing merchants as a yard boy. Well, now he's 22. He earns 35K a year. He has a company car, company phone. So the skills, the, the thing he was suspended for, selling and disciplined for, and told that that was not the thing to do, he now does as a full-time job, earning far more money than most people at our age. So... To me, that says, you know, one, that's one point of it's time to change. It's time for our education system to start looking at, you know, what skills people do have and not measuring them. You know, stop treating them like, like cookies that everybody needs to be cut the same. Stop treating them like they're on a factory line and, and testing people for their ability to remember things. You know, what real life skills and applications does being able to do a two hour test and retain information actually have? Why grade all of our our students like food, like meat. We're not meat. We have skills that can't be measured by a test, you know? So let's measure fish for their ability to swim and let's measure monkeys for their ability to climb a tree and not grade everybody by the same way. It's taking a while. So the future is here. Times have changed. We live in a world now that is not the same as 150 years ago, and we, we need to adjust everything. We need to change our whole way of thinking, our education system, and the way we do things to match it. Look at Finland. They have a totally different education system to us, in which the 
gap between the most successful person in the class and the least successful person in the class is the shortest in the entire world. We need to think outside the box and start creating opportunities for people who are creative as well as the people who can do engineering and do the math side of things. You know, we need to explore this world and make sure that we as people change in the same way. So I'm sure there is a bright future ahead and that this is something that will continue. So yeah, thank you very much. Anna, back to you, Steve. <laughs>